Rob here, KC6TOID. Recently, I purchased an old uh, FT8800 from a friend. He wasn't using it, and I needed one, so it was a perfect deal. However, when I got it home, I discovered that the uh, volume squilch knob was bent, and when I tried to straighten it out, it broke. Let me give you a shot. So here is the uh, control head for the FT8800, and uh, right here is the culprit. It got bent or uh, fell or something, and... Uh, well, there you go, it's broken. So I thought, what the heck, maybe I can replace that uh, and uh, get it working. So I called up Yesu's parts department, talked to someone, They gave I gave him the description of the part, they gave me the part number, ordered up for all 11 bucks, and guess what came in the mail today? There it is, folks. That is the uh, volume squelch uh, potentiometer pot. You can see there's a little PC board that's with it, and how this will, uh, Reinstall it into the uh, control head is simply just replace it onto the into the ribbon. So let's give it a try. To disassemble the uh, control head, first off, we have to take all the knob covers off, and uh, then on the back, there's four screws. One, two, three, four. So let's get those all taken off. All right, the knob covers are off, as you can see, and I've removed the screws from the back. But we still got to contend with those little teeny nuts that hold the uh, potentiometers in place. Got two on each side. So using a pair of tweezers or a small jeweler's uh, uh, screwdriver, I'll try to uh, loosen uh, those nuts up and take them off. All right, we're ready to disassemble the control head. I found out if you uh, just turn the uh, control head uh, backwards and uh, right in the middle of the, uh, the back here, if you just kind of uh, pry down, it separates and opens up. There's two little tabs that just hold it in there. All right, and we'll just turn this over and the cover slides away from the rest of the unit. Now I'm just gonna keep the back part connected. There is a ribbon you can see here that goes over to the uh, speaker mic jack, but I'll just leave that this part all connected because the only thing I need to get to is right here. That's what we're going to replace. So what I'll be doing is I'll just solder or desolder this ribbon off this PC board and then resolder the new one on. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back and we'll see how it works. Okay, the new switch is uh, soldered on. Let's put it all back together. Okay, the control head is all back together. The new switch here is all reassembled. By the way, here's a little tip, folks. At nighttime, it's so hard to see the position of your volume squelch, so a little bit of whiteout makes it easy. All right, the radio control head's back on the main unit, powered up. As you can see, everything looks good. Let me just turn the squelch down on this new knob. There you go. So it uh, squelch works, volume works, and then, of course, the infamous uh, wires. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that turned on, turn off. Of course, we always want to leave that off. All right, there you go, folks. KC6 TOD. I hope that helps if you ever have to get in there and replace a knob.